Spurge here, and in this video, we're gonna break down the new Sedici ADV modular helmet. So someone has finally done it. They have gone after the Scorpion uh, AT960. Um, really, the Scorpion was the only name in the game up until now for someone looking for an adventure modular helmet. Introducing the Sedici Adventure Modular, coming in around the $260 price point to show you what we're talking about. This is a helmet that is modular, as well as adventure in its style. You can see we actually have this configured three different ways, and that's the beauty of the helmet. So these are gonna be uh, production samples that we're working with, or final production uh, versions, but with one small little tweak that was done, the production version is getting this flat head screw. You'll see as we're looking on some of the other ones, if you get any side views with the Allen key in there, what Sedici finalized was a flathead screw with the idea being that even if you don't have a screwdriver with you, you just have a dime or a quarter, you can still change the configuration of this. And you can see you can use this as an adventure helmet. You can use it as a regular street helmet, which has kind of like a street fighter look to it or you can use it almost like a dirt bike helmet with the face shield completely removed and you can get goggles into this. Now I'll say it's gonna work with most goggles. If you're using like the Hyper Armega 100% with the big outriggers on it, that's not gonna work too well in here, but any regular style basic dirt bike goggle should fit in the eye port without any, uh, any worry right there. So we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's start with the basics of the helmet and then we'll walk through all the different nuances that you might expect here, as well as a few things we'd like to see changed with next iteration. So first and foremost, it is a fiberglass composite shell. Two different shell sizes are available. Extra small through medium is one shell size and large up to 2XL is another shell size. The one note there is typically from the, the newer Sedici helmets that we've seen released, they go all the way up to a 3XL. So if you are in the larger end of the spectrum, this one only goes up to a 2XL. DOT and ECE 2206 rated. And this is gonna have the locking mechanism in the modular. So if you want to, you can open that modular system and lock it and use it as a three quarter as well. And then three intake vents, two exhaust vents. The exhaust vents are passive, but the intake vents are active, which we will get to in just a second. Three pounds, 12 ounces in a large. So relatively light, considering we're looking at an adventure and modular helmet and this is gonna have an intermediate oval fit. Now we're calling this intermediate oval, but there is a little bit more room on the side of the head than what we typically expect. So I would say it's intermediate oval leaning, leaning a little bit to the round side. So really it's a little bit longer front to back, a little bit narrow on the side of the head. Like I said, this one probably more room than a regular uh, intermediate oval helmet. Um, so just keep that in mind as you're trying this on. If you're not sure how a helmet is supposed to fit, make sure you check out our how to size and buy a motorcycle helmet guide. We walk you through all the different types of interior shapes of helmets, round, intermediate oval, long oval, to help you find the right one to match up with the shape of your head. When you're sizing a helmet, it's a lot more nuanced than just you know extra large or extra small. So with all that out of the way, let's break down what you can expect here. So we talked about ventilation. So you have one chin vent at the front on this, and then you're gonna have two vents up top, and they're very easy to use. They're just slide vents, even with gloves on, no complications, no issues there. The face shield, is gonna have a pull from the middle point right here. Doesn't lock down necessarily as tight as what we saw with something like the Duale from Sedici. And the detents on this um, gives us a little bit of a different detents location than the Duale. Uh, one of the things to note on the Duale was it really only detents up in like the middle position. This is gonna give you a detents right in a lower position, almost low enough that it's not in your field of vision, but not quite. Just a note there, a little bit lower would have been nice. And then another detents up there, and then all the way open. It is pin lock ready. It is does not include a pin lock in the box. Really solid gasket, really like what we're seeing from Sedici as far as their face shields are concerned. You know, a lot of times when we're looking at an adventure helmet, there gets some distortion in the face shield. They did a nice job of having a flat design to the shield itself. And again, in the wide open position, nothing uh, getting in the way of a wide field of vision. Now you are gonna get a drop down sun visor on this. 
you can go ahead and you can slide that back if you're not using it. It is eyeglass ready, so you probably wouldn't need sunglasses because of the internal drop down sun visor, but if you prefer sunglasses or if you just have to wear regular glasses, you'll notice that this is going to be eyeglass compatible. Sadichi designed it to be a little bit more comfortable for those of you that do have to wear eyeglasses. Now, before we move on to the peak, the peak is not adjustable on this, but what you will see is as I lift up, we can actually do it from this way, as I lift up, that peak does slide back and allows this to have a really flush design to it. So that is super smooth. You have metal pins, you've got a lock to lock this in the up position. So once that's locked up, you can use it in a three quarter position. I will say, I probably wouldn't use that running down the highway, but just lower speeds around town uh, will give you that functionality. On the highway, it just acts like too much of a sail and it catches all that wind. If you're looking to have a three quarter that opens all the way up, there are other variants out there that do that, that give you a little bit more true three quarter functionality. But with this and that Adventure Peak design, you're gonna be a little bit limited to how fast you would wanna go in the three quarter position. Now, one of the things we like about this is you get the metal pins at the side pods. This just gives you a little bit more durability with a modular helmet. And the one note to make here is, you know, we would like to see maybe a different iteration in the future of, uh, I just totally overrode that lock manually. Do not do that yourselves. Don't try this at home. Um, but one of the things we've noted, noted here is that when you are looking at the way the side pod meets with the face shield, it's not necessarily the sleekest of designs. And let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So if you were to take the face shield off, like we've done with this one, the uh, the pod or the, the the peak still sits away from the helmet. So it doesn't automatically, you know, realign itself with the helmet. So my concern here is that if you are riding at higher speeds, you might get a little bit of additional wind noise because of this design. I don't see it being a potential failure in any way, but because this is sitting further away from the helmet, you do run the risk of slightly higher wind noise because it's just something to push against the wind and create that disturbance, which is what causes uh, that noise to begin with. So would love to see a different iteration of that moving forward. Like I said earlier, the final version is coming with these flat screws. So you can use either a flathead screwdriver or just a quarter or a dime if you're on the side of the road. Very easy to swap everything back and forth. And like I said, then you have the option to configure this how you want depending on how you're riding. So if you're just using around town stuff and you wanna go with more of a street fighter look to it, you can configure it without the peak at all. If you want something that's a little more dirt bike kind of focused and oriented, you can take the face shield off, or if you just wanna go true ADV style with modular functionality, you have that option as well. So taking a look at the back on this, a very aggressive kind of rear spoiler, passive exhaust fence. Um, the only note here that I would put in as a critique is that you have this really kind of pronounced area at the back. Would have loved for that to have been a little bit flatter for those people that are opting to wear goggles. Um, as it stands right now, you can kind of push the goggles up and over top of that, but I could see maybe just a flatter area at the back um, being a little bit more accommodating to those uh, riders out there that do like to use goggles. Let's take a look at the inside though. So, you know, as we're talking about this, when we first saw uh, Sidichi introduce the Duale, we called it out as we would love to see a MIPS option. I would love to see that in the future for this as well. MIPS stands for Multi-Directional Impact Protection System, adds in anti-rotational protection. And if what we saw with the Duale is an indication, maybe we'll see that in the future. Removable chin skirt up front to help with wind noise when you are in the closed position. Normally, I don't like a big bulky uh, chin curtain personally, but with a modular helmet, because it's a little bit easier to put the helmet in the three quarter position, put the helmet on and then close it. That's actually a really good point for those of you that never used a modular helmet before. The, uh, the way to truly put this on is open the helmet up, put it in the modular position, put the helmet on and then close this down around your face. And the reason I say that is it does help with having the chin curtain come down and close around you. So you're not trying to push it out of the way while you're getting the helmet on and off. Double D-ring closure with this, and then a little bit of Velcro and some snaps to get the cheek pads out. Very easy in, you got two snaps and then a little bit of Velcro to hold in the place and then two snaps down at the base. You are gonna get speaker pocket cutouts and they have the little insert on the inside of this. So this is removable. You can pull this out 
and then you have a nice deep cutout. So one of the notes here is that I really like the depth that they went with for the speaker pocket cutouts on this. We're seeing a lot of the high-end speakers um, that, are, that are coming with like the Cena and the Cardo systems right now are thicker, high fidelity speakers. And with some of the older speaker cutouts, they weren't deep enough to allow the speaker to sit all the way in without putting pressure on the ear. Very deep pockets with this helmet. So really great to see Sadichi accommodating what is going to be the future of how thick we're seeing some of these speakers come into play. Removing the inside liner, we can get a, a shot here of just the uh, the channel cutouts. And the one thing I'll say is there's no snaps to the brow mount, or the brow mount to this. It mounts up at the top, so you have no undo pressure points at the front. Uh, you do have two snaps at the back, but behind a very thick layer of padding. Other than that, nothing really outside the ordinary for this particular liner. Again, this helmet's coming around that $260 price point. So exactly what we'd expect to see um, for a helmet of this budget. Now taking a look at the inside, you can see multiple channels for airflow, as well as you have the passive vents there at the back, as well as the holes for the vents at the front. So really great to see Sadichi entering into this market. Up until this point, there really has been uh, you know, a limited call for the ADD modular world. I think it's a fun helmet. I think you can configure it a lot of different ways. And, you know, it's their first try right out of the gate. Um, there's definitely some things I would love to see improved moving forward. Again, really those side pod, the side pod design, just to give us a little bit more of a flush kind of mount to the finalized system. And then maybe a little bit flatter of a spot around back for goggles, and I'd love to see a MIPS iteration moving forward. But that being said, for around the $260 mark for their first shot at this, it's gonna be a really fun helmet to wear and a lot of different ways to configure it for riders out there that you know maybe don't want just one helmet, they want two or three different helmets, but they want it within a certain budget. And you can kind of configure this a variety of different ways. So to read more about what other riders have to say for folks out there that are already using a Sedici ADV modular helmet on their ride, you can click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. You can read other rider reviews from folks that are already out there putting this helmet through his paces. And if you're still not sure as to what adventure modular helmet is right for you or adventure helmet or modular helmet, what do you want to go with? You can always reach out to one of our customer service reps and they can walk you through all the different helmets available to make sure that you find the right helmet for your riding style as well as for your budget. I want to thank you for joining us for this look at the all-new Sedici ADV Modular Helmet. I'm Spurge. Enjoy the ride.